Hey guys, it's Paleo Luke here. Uh, today I decided to try something a little bit differently. I know that's what I said last week with the with the Jurassic Park Builder game video, but um, today I decided, you know, I'm, I'm branching out, and I was looking through my old stuff um, last night when I found a lot of my old, old dinosaur drawings that I made as a little kid, and I thought, you know, this is, this is fun, it's nostalgic, it's cool, um, I might as well look at them with you guys watching on, um, so might as well do that. So I, I picked out a bunch of my favorites, and I'm going to be going through them with you guys, and we'll we'll see if I was actually a good dinosaur artist or not, or if I should continue my paleo art, which I have not done, sadly. Um, so let's get into it. My car, because I don't have a studio, but it's okay. Uh, first off, we got this, what looks like some sort of a hadrosaur with a nest of eggs. I didn't notice that the first time I picked this out. It's got a nest of eggs and some sort of a uh, Rampharynchosaurid dinosaur, or not dinosaur, pterosaur. I'm ashamed of myself. Oh my gosh, I'm. It's because I'm nervous filming. That's that's all it is. That's all it is. This isn't a dinosaur. I'm ashamed. I should delete this whole channel now that I called this a dinosaur. That is, that is horrible. Um, but anyway, we got this this little hadrosaur right here. This very um very brown color, not a, not any stripes or patterns or anything. Same with the, with the pterosaur. It's just black. Um, but you know, I don't think this is too bad for a small child. So, um, let, let's move on to the next thing. So next up, we have this delightful little piece of a little dinosaur as trying to escape the approaching apocalypse. Um, so what I had in mind when I drew this was a meteor struck, and this is kind of like the shock wave, and it's coming uh, for this little dinosaur, and he's trying hopelessly to outrun it, but he'll never make it in time. I was I was such a nice little kid, wasn't I? This was one of my favorite dinosaurs, Baryonyx, with this big old big old claw on the hand. Um, I loved Baryonyx quite a lot. Uh, it was my favorite dinosaur as a kid. I don't know why there aren't more drawings of it that I could find, because it was my favorite dinosaur. I would imagine I'd draw it all the time. Um, but again, it's not terrible for, like, an 11-year-old me, right? Look at its foot, though. It's like it broke its foot. Oh, I made it out of focus. There we go. Um, it's just stalking in the water. So that's that's my Baryonyx. Now, this next one, I I this is the oldest piece of dinosaur art I've ever seen. It's like cave art. Look at this. Look at this. This is the oldest dinosaur drawing that I can remember making. I don't even know what this stuff is that it's on. It's like you, you scratch it and it's and it comes bright or something. I don't know. Um, come on. Come on. I think you have to have, to have a, like, a special pencil or whatever. But it... Oh, did I do that? I don't think I can do it. Um... Maybe it's just too old. Well, this it was it was a T Rex, um, you know, standing upright on all that, like a like a not accurate T Rex. But I was a kid, so get off my back. Um, you know, it's it's my stylistic old piece of art that looks like a cave painting. We got this really fat sausage-looking Giganotosaurus. Um, I think I spelled that right. Yeah, I think I did. I was a smart kid. I knew a lot about dinosaurs back then. Um, you know, I, I it's not entirely terrible, right? Okay, so this is another one of my really, really old ones. Like, look at this T-Rex's head. He is in pain because he's being attacked by a Stegosaurus because they totally live together. Um, look at him. He's so proud of what he's... Oh, dear. What did I do? I don't know how to use this. He's so proud of what he's accomplished. Look at him. Um, he's just he's just cutting that T-Rex right up. Look at his tiny little arms. Like that is Carnotaurus sized arms for this T-Rex. Um Yeah, this is not good in any sense of the word. But again, it's one of my really older pieces. So I don't know. It's it's cool. It's cool. Is that a little stick man that I erased or something? I think it is. There's another one right here by his tail. I think I, like, erased the stick man to draw over that picture and make this dinosaur picture. 
So I think for that last one and for this one, I actually used a drawing uh, book, <laughs> which didn't really help me. Look at this velociraptor. This is supposed to be a velociraptor. Does this look anything like any sort of velociraptor you've ever seen? Like, people talk crap about the Jurassic Park velociraptors for being inaccurate. You should be thankful they didn't look like this. Look at its head. Why is it... why is it square? And it's attacking a protoceratops like in the famous fighting fossils, um, fossil, which I, I liked, um, but look at its arms. Why are they so small? And why, how does, how is it jumping like that? I mean, the protoceratops is not half bad. I mean, it is, but it's not compared to the velociraptor. Like, you could, you could, you could put this velociraptor next to any dinosaur art and it makes it look ten times better. Okay, right here we have one of my better ones of some Deinonychus attacking what looks like a Mudaburosaurus or something. Um, so you know, this is not this is one of my not terrible ones. But again, I was I was older when I made this one. I, I made dinosaur art throughout my entire span of my life almost. So there's going to be some better-ish ones like this one and some crappier ones. I'm sorry if you guys can hear the cars going past. I don't know if you can, but they're they're going past. Um, yeah, yeah. This is some Deinonychus attacking a Metaburosaurus. Look at this guy. He is. That's not fair. He's biting him in the no no area. Um, but yeah, this is this is one of my not terrible ones. Oh my gosh! Look, look what I found. Look, it's me. It's little little baby me with a pet Dromaeosaur id some something because that totally looks like a raptor a little dinosaur uh, pterosaur i did it again i almost called it a dinosaur again i am ashamed what the heck i know it's not but i keep almost calling it a dinosaur maybe it's just because i'm filming and i've never done this sort of thing before and i'm nervous but who knows at this point maybe i'm being compromised by some sort of alien in my head oh look it's a little little dinosaur trying to catch a lizard look look how cute i was as a kid i was so cute and creative wasn't i that's amazing i love i might hang this on my wall holy crap this is awesome okay so i remember this being one of my favorite uh drawings that i made as a kid uh this really um this camouflaged predator in the forest where you can barely even see him. Um, and I will say it's a decent concept, I guess. But just look at, look at the, what's up with his legs? Look at that. Do you see that? What is going on with his body? That's the weirdest little thing. Look at that. Look how his leg kind of goes like, what does, I don't know what I was trying to do. That's so weird. Like just cover up this part of him and is decent but then you have oh my gosh he's a, he was mutated as a child or something that is that is not good so here we have here we have another one of the fighting fossils uh the fighting fossil and i, I really liked that that specimen i liked drawing about it um it's, it's kind of like a snapshot into the lives and battles of these two creatures it's really interesting i even have like the protoceratops that has uh the arm in its mouth and everything they're kind of kind of the same postures ish as the fossils so that's cool um other than the fact that this picture is absolute garbage like look at this raptor look at that i cannot get over how i used to draw raptors that's so weird looking um but honestly, it's it's better than some of the really old paleo art from, like, the 1800s or whatever. So, you know, we can say that. Uh, the protoceratops looks kind of angry. And you can, you can see his claw going into the, the hole in his flesh. That's, that's brutal. Here we got some sort of tyrannosaur chasing after a gallimimus. Uh, this picture's kind of pretty bad. Uh, but average by my standards. I like the design that I had for the Gallimimus. His legs are really long, and his body's like a snake. Um, 
you know, it's not my worst thing ever, and it's not my best thing ever. We have some sort of Spinosaur-looking dinosaur attacking some uh, other carnivore for some reason, and he, he got a cut on its cheek, and so he's roaring in pain. He's like, oh no, please don't hurt me, Mr. Baryonyx, and I'm gonna hurt you, all right? We got another Gallimimus here, and one thing I've noticed is with the Gallimimus specifically, I was very consistent with, um, with how I drew them. So, like, you know, see the patterns in the one Gallimimus, that I, the picture with the Tyrannosaur in it that I showed you, it's exactly the same as the patterns for this Gallimimus and for a lot of the other Gallimimus pictures that I drew. So I thought, you know, that's a pretty cool little detail that I had in all my dinosaur drawings. The Gallimimus, at least, was very consistent. As for the drawing itself, eh, it's okay for a little kid, I guess. Um... But I do like, I do like what I did with the design. I still appreciate that. If only someone better than me at drawing dinosaurs could remake some of these pictures, they might actually be not half bad. Here we have some Rampharynchus pterosaurs attacking a pteranodon. So, like, ganging up on him, I, um... I got the idea for this when I saw my cat outside my house being attacked by gangs of birds, because she would, like, kill the birds, and then the birds came and, like, dive-bombed her. It was crazy. So, uh, I decided to draw this, of the kind of the same thing happening, these Rampharynchus attacking this pterosaur bully, who's bigger than them, but there's more of them, so they're like, get, get out of here. Get out of here. Quit eating our friends. Beautiful little river down there. Here we have a Velociraptor hunting a Protoceratops. I really like drawing dino uh, Velociraptors and Protoceratopses, didn't I? I have a lot of Velociraptor versus Protoceratops pictures. Like, I could fill this entire video with them. I was obsessed with it, wasn't I? So we got this red Velociraptor. Pretty cool looking, right? He's chasing down this. Don't really see any more comments that can be made. Here we got some sort of carnivore, uh, chasing after a Hesperornis. This was right after I, uh-oh, right after I discovered what Hesperornis actually was, I was like, hey, that's, that's cool, I want to draw a picture of it. And so I left it open-ended, is, is he gonna escape into the water, or is the dinosaur gonna catch him? Uh, tune in next week, and by next week, I mean never, you'll never know. Okay, so this is another one of my pretty old and bad ones, some... Tyrannosaur attacking a Brachiosaurus, and I really hope that I intended for the Brachiosaurus to be a, a youngster. Otherwise, this T-Rex is just way too big. This is not, not very good, but, um, it's fine. And last but not least, we have this, uh, beautiful picture of this, uh, camouflaged hunting dinosaur attacking this Gallimimus. Um, I actually thought about selling this, this picture when I was a kid. Um, look at the, what is going on with his body. Um, but yeah, I actually thought about selling this one as a child. So if any of you want this, just hit me up. Um, but I think that's going to be it for now. Uh, if you like this video, I might do more. I have a lot more of these pictures. And, um, and if you like this, hit like, uh, subscribe for more dinosaur videos every single week. Um, I'm going to be on vacation, so I might not be able to post a lot, but hopefully I will. I'll see you guys later. Paleo Luke out.